delighted that uh, everybody's come here to the House of Commons to actually launch this exhibition about e ranger a range of vehicles which can be used in the third world, particularly in Africa and as we've seen in, in Afghanistan. And I must say that as a, a constituency MP, I'm incredibly proud that we've actually got uh, a product which has uh, got its heart in Yorkshire, uh, but which of course has got its soul in the developing world. When I first came into contact with this uh, idea, I must confess, the idea of motorcycles in parts of Southern Africa or Afghanistan seemed a little bit weird. But when you look that you can actually provide 10 of these vehicles for the cost of one top of the range Range Rover, you understand just what a significant impact this can have in some of the poorest communities. It's about British development, British manufacturer, British ideas, working for the benefit of people in developing countries and certainly in the Department for International Development we very much recognise that. In particular um, in Malawi through the Safe Motherhood project in terms of being able to get to women and we know that every minute one woman dies in childbirth and the answer is simple and complex at the same time. And the simple answer is skilled birth attendants. That is what makes the difference between life and death. And for me, e-ranger is part of that difference between life and death. It is simple, it's relatively cheap, perhaps a better word is economical. And the big thing is, it's working with what you've got. Where there aren't roads, we can't wait for roads. People's lives can't wait. And so e-ranger, actually uses uh, routes where there are no developed roads and that is the case in many uh, places. It's also of course flexible uh, and just uses what we've got and I think for that it's very impressive and the Department for International Development um, on behalf of the UK government has been very keen to pioneer the use of these and will continue to do so. So. Uh, I also wanted to point out, it's not just the kit that you see before you, it's also about the maintenance as well of the vehicle and the training that goes with it in order to make sure it can still function and work for people. So I want to congratulate uh, the company on, uh, as I say, using British expertise for, for very good use and actually for making a life and death difference in a positive sense to people across the developing world. So I hope you will join me in launching the exhibition and hoping that eRanger will go from strength to strength. Thank you. Thank you all for coming along. What I said about doing things was quite serious because that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, you can talk all day and collect all the money in the world but you're not actually getting the job done by getting it to the end user. And what we do is we get it to the end user, but we cannot do it ourselves. We need backing from the top and, and, and through the system until it gets to the sharp end, which is where we're at.